All right, now that our blades have the LEDs attached, um, time to put the battery on. One thing to take into consideration when doing your battery placement and your switch and charge is that inevitable worst case scenario of if you do have a, a tip over and uh, or possibly you know collapse a blade in the grip. In the case of this one, this type of blade style, look here to make sure that we're not going to bump into anything. So. Tentatively, I'm going to put the battery in this position. Mind you, this piece of copper is going to get removed. So that should keep us clear and uh, not have uh, any interference from a tip over. Alright, one more thing before we add our battery to it is we need to check to make sure our positive and negative traces we run across the top of the blades plus the uh, other ones going across the lean edge, make sure nothing is contacting uh, the carbon on the blade. So put one end of the meter in the uh, bolt hole, other on top there. So no conducting, no conduction going on there. We'll flip the blade over. Same thing again. So that blade is nicely isolated, not going to discharge our battery. So it means our clear coat did its job. Same thing again here. Flip it over. So good to go. One thing to watch out for, make sure that when you do this test, don't don't fool yourself. Don't don't touch the leads to your fingers. You know, it's enough salt and uh water in my body so uh, my fingers through my arms appear to be about uh, you know 1.7 meg so at this point we're pretty much ready to put the battery in place and put our last lead which is going to be over the the front edge to connect because we're going to do all of our negative side work down here so we'll have one more lead that's going to go over the leading edge carry up to the top. So we've put our LEDs in place and we've uh, put some medium CA on it. That's all cured now so they're protected and we'll continue the mechanical layout with the battery and the wires and I'll show you what we do there. Okay so I've been using some medium CA that's actually a little bit thicker than medium. Uh, it's been sitting around the bottle for a while. You may even want to use thick. But once you get these adhered, you want to come back in and make sure you've got little fillets of CA around the switch and around the terminal just to give some ad additional strength mechanically. Uh, the other thing that happens on this is I've done this on the bottom side of the blade. I've touched up the bottom LEDs and resistors and solder joints with some CA. At this point, I'll come back over, I'll do the top side of the blade, and I'll go hang these on a hook for an hour or so, let them cure up. Okay, so we've got uh, our other negative trace we've added to the blade here. And I've gone ahead and put my double-sided servo tape onto the battery. And you can see I've got the edges of it rolled up. Also trim the tape pretty close to the battery. Now on the front side of it, I've done things just a little differently. You'll notice I extended a pass here. This is the positive terminal. That is being supported by the tape, so it gives a nice mechanical relief. Same thing, the negative is partially supported, but it's exposed. If you look closely here, I'll try to get the camera in view. As I line that up, I'm going to bring that right up to that first pin on that three pin sip. And that's going to be the negative side of that charge port. And we'll put some jumpers in to carry the rest of it over to the switch and carry the positive in. But that one's kind of a critical piece right there to get that to line up right on top of that. So, and actually, when I do that, it'll actually, you can see it right there, I just slipped it right underneath that pin. Don't know if you can see this, but here's a small boo boo. I was, uh, trimming off an edge of, a, of some of the tape and what do you know put a hole in the edge of the lipo with the battery so always keep a spare around 
Okay, what I want to show you here is we've got our first battery mounted. Um, I had to switch over to an 80 milliamp hour LiPo because I snipped the edge of it with a pair of scissors, so the 240s are bad now, or at least one of them. Don't have a matching set. So what we've got here is the battery mounted the servo tape. We've literally butted the negative terminal right up to what's going to be the negative side of the charge port. I've put a white jumper in place that goes over to the middle terminal on the switch. And the other side of the switch has been soldered directly onto this trace. So those are all in place. I've also carried the positive side around the leading edge right to there. So what we need to do now is make another wire jumper that's going to go from the middle terminal on the charge receptacle that's going to jump up to the battery and then it's going to continue on up here and land on this strip. So the positive side of the battery is connected all the time to the top side of the blade and the negative connects back through the switch. All right, I want to show you one thing here real quick. Uh, the wire I'm using for the jumpers on this is a 24 gauge stranded wire. Um, if you by chance are in the security or automation field, uh, pretty easy to come by. It's just a standard low voltage communication cable. Uh, what I've done here is I've stripped one end of it using a set of strips, went ahead and tinned it. Then I came back on to it with a pair of pliers, in this case a pair of stained glass pliers. Went ahead and stripped the other end, actually a pretty good bit, about a quarter of an inch. And then I came back down here and then pulled the insulation up. So now I've got a spot that will land. And it will go charge receptacle, battery terminal, LED strip. Okay, so we've just made our last connection. You can see the green wire in there underneath the hot glue. And that's the one that goes from the middle terminal of the charge receptacle, positive terminal of the battery, and up to the positive lead up here for the LED strip. Um, found that using the hot glue works real well. It's done in layers, as I mentioned before. I do the negative lead first with that white wire, put a layer of hot glue over the top of it. Then I lay the next lead in, I attach it back here to the receptacle, and then bring it up and kind of pin it down with a set of tweezers or a screwdriver or a toothpick while I solder it to the positive terminal and then bend it over again and solder it in place to the terminal that goes up here leads to the LEDs. Um, putting the hot glue across there makes a nice insulator across all this stuff. Also if you have to you can peel it back off and get back into the connection should something go awry on you. But nice and stable just don't uh, leave it on the dashboard of the car in the middle of the summer with the windows rolled up. So we're pretty much done with this blade. We're going to do some cleanup. Uh, here's the switch. On, off, on, off. Flip it over. Nice and pretty lights. So I'll hit this whole thing with some acetone, clean up some of the adhesive marks left over where the tapes were overrun. And uh, I'll actually come down here and do a very light sanding on top of the LEDs. Uh, I'll take any rough spots like this solder joint. It looks kind of like a mountaintop if you could see it. Uh, so it's actually got a sharp edge to it. I'll take a small nail file and file that down a little bit. Smooth it out. But uh, basically rough it up lightly. Clean it up real well so we can shoot a layer clear over the entire thing. One other thing we'll do here before applying, I'm going to apply a heat shrink over this, is I will come back and I will statically check the CG and the weight of these blades and ideally I'm going to try to get the blade mass the same as long as I can keep the CG's uh, at the exact same spot. So it's kind of six and a half dozen of the other if you have uh, weights off a little bit but your CG's spot on or you have your weights on and your CG's off by you know half a millimeter. So we'll throw these on the balancers and uh, the scale and roll them around and check the stat or the uh, the CGs and see what we come up with